Hey everybody, it's Will Venus. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I want to talk through something with you. So tomorrow I start my dental treatment. So the way that I'm seeing it, it's like my last step for my recovery from my alcohol addiction. Because when I had alcohol addiction, for those that are new to my channel, uh, it turned into chronic alcohol abuse and I got pancreatitis which made me sick a lot, which ruined my teeth really. So. This is the last bit of my recovery, if you like. So, shall I tell you all that I need to I need to get done? I won't be getting all of this done uh, tomorrow. I think I'm getting an extraction. I'm not an extraction fan, but I do love extraction fans. Not in the sense of people that love to watch people have their teeth pulled out, as in the fans that suck air out of a building or place. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I need to get, I think, four or five extractions, countless fillings, uh, I don't know, uh, actually I'll, I'll leave that to the last bit, uh, probably need to get my teeth polished, hopefully get them whitened, and I have to get a couple of false teeth here, because all of these teeth up at the, the upper right are just dead, gone, they're rotted completely. All eroded by stomach acid. Uh, I'm very lucky that I still have these ones, even though I hate them. No matter how much whitening stuff I put on my teeth, I just cannot whiten them because the enamel has worn, and this is just... Excuse me. He always does that at the most inappropriate times. He shoves his crusty bum in my... F it, oh. Yes, you! <laughs> right, come up here. Right, let's put this down so people can see you. Yeah, right. Ooh. Right, you can sit in, you can sit in on, the, on the chat, yeah? Uh, yeah, my teeth are completely white and there's nothing that I can do about it, so... Apart from... One day, hopefully, I can afford to get veneers or implants or whatever, which I definitely cannot afford to do right now, I am skint. Although, if there's anyone out there that wants to use my mouth as an experiment to give me new teeth, you know where to find me. Uh, I can leave them. I'll always do leave my um, contact details at the in the description box below. So, yeah. I wish I could get those done. But it's been almost 15 years since I was at the dentist and Although I have been for the consultation just to see what was what with my mouth. Yeah, tomorrow the treatment starts and yeah, it's really... I want to say... I'm quite nervous. Yet. Yeah. I'm excited also because, you know, I've got to go through this to get my teeth fixed. It's just something I've put off for a very long time because of a, a fear. but. I work through fears these days rather than avoid them, which is, yeah, I would say that's the best thing to do, but, you know, if you're considering getting over a fear, definitely talk it over with your GP or your therapist or whatever. I'm not a therapist at all. Uh, I just share my mental health stuff and fears and things because I feel it's good to talk about these things. Isn't it, Alfie? Yes. Yelfie. Can you hear him purring? Also, if you can hear like another whirring sound, it's just my tumble dryer that's on. Uh, Yelfie, are you relaxed? Uh, this is our hold Alfie all the time. Yelfie. 
I mean, I know I'm not as nervous as I thought I was going to be because I know that the people there are really nice people. I just hope that I get the same two two women that I saw. I don't know why, but I, I just seem to get on better with with uh, with women in general. I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't hate men. I'm married to one. And, yeah, I don't know, I just seem to get on with women better. Mm. Yeah, they seem really nice. One of them actually doesn't live locally. She lives about an hour away, so she has to get the, the train into work every single day, which is dedication for you. So it's nice to know that she actually likes to do her job. And she didn't grumble. She didn't say, oh, it's, you know, an hour to work. And I know we're getting home. She didn't say anything like that. Although I suppose she could just be saying that because I was there. Is there a conspiracy there? Or does she live in the tiny flat above the place? And she just says that she lives elsewhere. I'm only kidding. I don't know. Although I do like a conspiracy theory. I don't know about you. What have I been doing today? I've been watching a show called Karen Dunbar Show. Uh, she is a Scottish comedian. Uh, me and my husband actually went to see her, I think it was three or four years ago, we went to this thing called A Play Pie and a Pint. Uh, you went to see the play, had a pie and a pint, but we didn't have pints because we don't drink. So we just had a nice cup of tea, I think. Well, my husband had tea, I think I had juice. And there you go, I it was about this woman who, like the play was, uh, I can't remember, where the, it was the place that was next to the Lyceum, I can't remember the name exactly, hang on, just bring it back up a little bit, there we are, uh, yeah the place next to the Lyceum and it was a play about this woman who like Karen Dunbar, she was playing this character who was a bit older than her, so she had like older ladies' clothes on, a grey wig and things, and like we were at the front row, so and the room was only about the size of a like the size of a classroom, say, and yeah, we were quite close to her, and in spitting distance actually, and as they moved around, you could have just held out your hand and touched them, but. You know, obviously you don't do that. Uh, that's disrespectful and, yeah, illegal. And it was about this woman who had chronic pain. But she seemed to laugh off this condition. And in the, in the script, I mean, this is obviously a fictional character, so I don't condone people who laugh at people about chronic pain. But this was her way of dealing with her chronic pain. And... She, instead of calling her pain fib fibromyalgia, she called it the fibromyalgia. Uh, in her own Scottish Glaswegian accent. And then she started talking about how nothing seems to work for the pain. And, <laughs> you know, this girl that happened to me. And then she, she says that, and she said, and that, ah, you hear the Lady Gaga? She's got it on all. Aye. So that was, yeah, that was quite funny. And in the, the TV show that we were watching, she's got all these different kind of sketches and they're just hilarious. If you've got a chance, look her up. I'm sure she's on uh, YouTube somewhere. And there's this, this sketch where it's these three ladies that work, I think, in a school as dinner ladies. And one of the characters, her son's always in trouble with the police. The other character's like her best friend, so she's always kind of supporting excuse me, her friend, and then the other one just repeats it, but then you say, so, the first character, she's saying, you hear about my Dexter, being in trouble with the police again, aye, I couldn't help it, he was hungry, so I had to go and just, Ken, steal something for the shops, and then the other one was saying, why, they're always picking on him, aren't they, and then the other one goes, picking on him, aye, it's persecution, a persecution, I so it is. <laughs> y 
you really have to watch it to to gain the hilarity of it. You really do. Uh, hopefully, I've given you a good kind of rendition, if you like, of what they sound like. But yeah, that's that was quite funny. That was that show was made back in. No, there's a thought. It was made back in two thousand and six. And that's the last time that I had any dental treatments. Does that mean something? Who knows? But yeah, I'm a bit nervous about going to the dentist, but I realise it's something I need to do to aggressively because I don't like the way that my teeth look and I'm not able to express when I'm happy other than when I'm at home because it's not about what other people think about my teeth no absolutely nothing to do with that it's just when I see my teeth in the mirror I just it, what what I see I just do not like it doesn't reflect who I am that person being a bit of a perfectionist I think So yeah, it's off the rear good, I think. So, if you manage to watch this before I go for my appointment, which is at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, please keep me on your thoughts and your prayers, say, you know, whatever it is that you say to your God or your deity or your... Even if it's just saying something to the universe like I do each night, uh, yeah, wish me luck, will you? Um, I could really do with. Yeah, I could really do with some support on this one, cause my husband can't go with me be because of, you know what? I hope that I'm not staggering home, or if I do have an allergic reaction, oh, that's not going to happen. I'm just getting visions of myself walking home and with half my face numb, and. Yeah, it's not going to be great, but... Or shall I do a vlog about it tomorrow? Shall I take the camera with me to... the dentist? Actually, what I'll do is follow me on Instagram and I'll document my morning, my journey there, and then when I come out afterwards, yeah? So if you want to see my story about being at the, the dentist... <laughs> like, kind of what cares? Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram and I'll post a few videos there tomorrow. Yeah? Cool. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you again properly tomorrow because I'll do another proper sit-down video with the camera and things and let you, know, let you all know how it went. Yeah? Cool. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and be kind to each other, be kind to yourself and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.